Good morning! I want to talk about Halloween. Well, actually, I want to say I love Halloween. I am terrible at it. I am because I'm a bad planner. So I always wind up throwing together my costume at the last minute and it's sort of stuff for my collection of costume things, which I have a decent collection, so it always comes out okay, but it's just okay and I'm never really happy with it. Uh, I'm terrible at giving you candy because I have this propensity for eating candy. But I always manage to do a bit and I, I love it. But there is this problem with costumes sometimes. Uh, I was talking with a friend of mine the other day and they said... Oh, well, you know, maybe I'll maybe be Pocahontas for Halloween. And I said, that is probably not a good idea. On account of... That is a bad costume. And it made me want to talk about Halloween costumes. Because... There's a group of students in the States who put it best. Cultures are not costumes. Dressing up as, a, as, a, as, an, as indigenous people or stereotypes of other races or cultures is is not good it's kind of being a jerk in fact it is actually being a jerk and you have a, I, I had this talk with a bunch of people and I I mean obviously I'm not really part of a marginal, marginalized culture but I read about this stuff and I don't feel like I'm in a position to explain it in in the the kind of detail that it needs but I will put some some wicked links in the in the bottom but i but i want to at least talk about it and discuss it because i think it's a, it's definitely a thing worth discussing i mean half the problem with you know people dressing up as mexicans or 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 um arabs which is a thing which is weird to me partly because most of the people you would sort of quote unquote describe as arabs are probably not from the uae but is that we don't think anything of it most people are just like, oh, well, that's kind of that's kind of interesting. No, no, no. I mean, it's just it's a problem that's systemic, and it it remains systemic because no one talks about it. So I'm going to talk about it today, and why your indigenous people costume or then indigenous people costume is not a costume. It is not a thing that you should wear. It's because of cultural appropriation. It asserts your dominance over a particular culture by saying, I wear your attire as a costume for fun, for frivolity. I mean, these are things which have you know, often deep and significant meanings to the culture in question, whether it's kimonos or um, headdresses or, or paint or whatever. And you just sort of take them and you're like, I'm just going to borrow this for an evening and try it out and see how your culture fits on me. And then I'm going to go back to doing everything I do. That, that is not good. First thing is, it's an assertion of power. Uh, the second thing is, it's just, it's usually racist. I mean, even, even dressing up as Pocahontas, I and mean, there's this idea of, well, Pocahontas isn't, isn't a real Native American. I am pretty sure she was. B... I mean, she's a, she's a fictional character. She's a Disney character. Well, Disney is, is also, you know, Disney's Pocahontas is also a huge act of cultural appropriation. Perpetuating that, probably not a great plan. So, what do you do? I mean, it, it trivializes people's cultures in a very meaningful way. Because they're not a people anymore. It marginalizes them. They're a thing that you dress up as. They're on, they're on par with robots and Vikings, and, and Vikings are actually a really interesting sort of... We're going to bracket Vikings for a bit. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to get to it today, and I don't, I don't know that I want to, but bracket Vikings. But robots and dinosaurs and Transformers and, you know, all the other things that you might dress up as for Halloween. You know, ghosts and goblins. But I like how I get to the goblins after Transformers. And I get a lot of answers to this. I mean, there, there, there's answers to it all over the place, and people say, oh, well, it doesn't harm anybody. Well, that's not a decision you get to make. I mean, that's like that's like saying, oh, well, you shouldn't be offended that I'm peeing in your holy water font because, I mean, it's not really hurting anybody. No, but it bothers people in a, in a meaningful way because you're disrespecting something which is which belongs to them. I mean, if there is one thing that you sort of own, and I'm not even sure that you own it in a way, it almost it owns you, but it is, it is your your culture. And I think that this is especially true for 
uh, more marginalized groups of people, like indigenous peoples, who are consistently having their culture sort of legislated out of them. I mean, that, that's a, that is a huge problem for another day that I am really, really not super well informed on. Um, and actually, we'll talk about me being uninformed on that maybe in a couple of weeks. But, I mean, you don't get to... It, it, even the assertion of, oh, well, it doesn't hurt anybody, is an assertion of power. You are commanding that people not be hurt by this. You know, everyone who is offended by that is obviously just being some kind of, of oversensitive... You know, PC, that's the other word that comes up a lot, is PC, politically correct. Being sensitive to how your choices affect other people's struggles is not being politically correct. It's not. It's just not being a jerk. The laser Quest rules apply. We'll talk about Laser Quest rules later, too. But One of the other common answers is, it's just a costume. Why? Why make such a big deal out of it? Well, I mean, let's put this in context. Even the statement, it's just a costume, reduces that culture. Lots of people have written about this and talked about this in far more eloquent ways. And the notion that this is a thing that should just not bother people, often it's because that people say, well, I don't, I don't intend it to be you know, sort, of, sort of racist or... or, or uh, oppressive or imperialist or you know I'm not I'm not doing that consciously I'm not this isn't a, a thing that I intend to offend people it's just a fun costume I want to wear and again it comes back to that sentence what's well, just a costume well it's not just a costume the fact that it is just a cost that, that, that you think it's just a costume is itself the problem and that is all this stuff comes back to that it's not just a costume Lots of things are just costumes. You could be a million things for Halloween. You could be a dinosaur. You could be a duck. You could be a dinosaur with a duck bill. You could be a dinosaur robot with a duck bill. You could be a dinosaur robot duck bill pencil sharpener. There are so many things that are probably none of those that you could be for Halloween. And you had to pick this person's culture. Or these people's culture. And put it on like it's like it's a mask or a costume that you wear. This isn't a mask that they wear. They wear it every day. Uh, the final response that, that, again, more often than not, comes up is, well, you know, it, you know, it's okay if they dress up like like white people. I mean, let's be honest. The, the people in question who are impersonating cultures, they're white people. Um, you know, well, they can dress up like George Washington or, or um, Sir John A. Macdonald, who was the first prime minister of Canada. No one dresses up like Sir John A. Macdonald, but he was kind of kind of awesome in, in some ways. But, you know, they, it's okay for them to do it. Well, A, if you just gave them permission to do that, I, that's weird. But B, um, dressing up like white guys in suits is not really a cultural thing. And more importantly, even if it was, the statement... Uh, that, that it goes both ways does not actually go both ways. These are not equivalent statements. And we'll talk about that next week, uh, which I'm probably going to explain with cheeseburgers. I like cheeseburgers. I don't actually eat cheeseburgers anymore now that I'm all low-carb, but maybe I'll bring in some real cheeseburgers, but probably not, because then I would eat them. So, long story short, think about your costume really hard. Don't wear other people's cultures. Check out the links down below for more information on cultural appropriation and some of the reactions of indigenous groups and, and marginalized people to this kind of appropriation. And other than that, I hope you have a happy and awesome and wonderful Halloween. And now I actually have to go and put on a Halloween costume to go to a party. Uh, I am being a blues singer from the 1920s. Uh, so I will see you guys on Friday with some ukulele jams. Bye. I'd like to look down at the earth from above I'd miss all the places and people I love So although I might like it for one afternoon I don't want to live on